Now this question uh, mentions the word similar and mathematically similar as well. So this involves two shapes. Similar means that one's an enlargement of the other. So there must be a scale factor to find. So once we found the scale factor, we can then find out any of the missing sides that we need. So personally, I always find the scale factor going from the small shape to the large shape. So the new measurement for that side was 15, the old measurement was 10, so when we divide those we'll calculate the scale factor as being 1.5. So that basically means we're going to times all the little side lengths by 1.5 to give us the big shape side lengths. If we go in the opposite direction then we'll divide by the scale factor, so we'll end up dividing by 1.5. The question asks for the length of PQ. So to get PQ, its corresponding side on the small shape was uh, BA, which had a length of 6, times that by the scale factor, then we get an answer of 9 centimetres. So our first answer was 9 centimetres. The second part of the question asks for the length of AD. Well, AD is the uh, bottom side, um, so we're going from the big shape, because they told us that was 12. We're going down to the small shape, so we're going to divide by the scale factor, and 12 divided by 1.5 gives us an answer of 8 centimetres.